to use that one. So I'm going to, I'm going to make the source directional by attaching this little fan um, <coughs> to, to my source so that uh, if, I only, if I turn the source on and the small fan, I should end up with a directional cloud of, uh, of smoke. <coughs> Put it on the wrong one. Oops. Sorry about this. Okay. So, here we have a directional source in our, um, in our receiving hood. And it's, it's, it seems to be controlling it pretty ad adequately now. But as I, as I raise the hood up, this is in effect an air jet. And air jets expand. They, uh, you get an induced air movement and the volume flow increases. And I get to the point uh, above the source where I've got spillage now. This hood is not big enough to deal with that, that source. It's expanded to about this size. I can get controlled by re getting closer to it. Um, also, if I can, I can increase the flow rate of my source so that it starts to overwhelm the flow rate, in, 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 uh, the, the volume flow rate of the, the ventilation system, the LED system. And the class, the classically, receiving hoods only work if they aren't empty as fast as they're filled. And there are, there's, a, there's design guidance on how to design receiving hoods. But 